Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Faceless Tyrogist and welcome to Dragon Age Inquisition. In this video we'll be taking a look at the quest called the Wrath of Heaven, which is basically the first quest that you get. And basically we'll just be going to the rift with Cassandra. Basically this will serve as your tutorial. Now we're just going to go straight on ahead. And we'll just be going to the rift. We cannot do anything yet. There we go. That'll actually get us uh, some dialogue time with Cassandra. The pulses are coming faster now. Yeah, in any case, this is going to be a real mess. The larger the breach grows, the more rifts appear, the more demons we face. How yeah, that's really bad. Okay, and now this bridge will be destroyed, most likely. Yeah, there we go. And that'll actually get us into some combat, and it will give us our first weapon. We're basically facing off a bunch of demons. Demons are still a threat. And there will be some tough choices that you're going to need to make. Sooner or later. Now that will actually get us our first weapon. And, uh, yeah, really made a mean ass looking female character. There we go. Yeah, basically, combat at first is going to be really, you know, generally just slow. Okay, and we'll basically get some potions and by pressing the V button we'll actually be able to highlight lootable stuff. So go ahead and loot. I'm just gonna take all. I won't be equipping anything yet. But yeah, there's also item crafting, uh, general uh, resource looting. There we go. Perfect. Uh, as a mage, you basically use mana and your staffs have a wicked attack. Like that. You also have a bunch of other abilities. I'm just going to leave that B, at least for the time being. There are some tough enemies and there are some boss fights along the way. So you will need every advantage you can get. And I'll be showing you how you can get infinite resources, basically, so looting everything along the way really does help out a great deal. Okay, and now we're just going to keep on heading that way. Loot any iron you come across, because at the beginning iron will be a very valuable commodity. At least for the time being. And if you have all of the DLCs, like I do... Uh, you'll actually be getting some other stuff pretty soon and the trick I will show you in the next video I believe uh, with cheat engine to basically have infinite crafting supplies that will come in handy as well but basically for now let us just fight off these uh, lesser shades yeah don't worry I'll get it with a freaking fireball you basically gain XP as you're leveling. That is, as you're killing enemies. Uh, if you head on over here, you will actually get an opportunity to loot some more stuff. With Elf Root, you'll basically be able to craft a bunch of other stuff, and it also helps to have a shit ton of money to get uh, the necessary crafting. Uh, components, uh, you can also cheese the money with that as well, with the cheat engine, but... And it doesn't disable achievements, uh, at least on Steam. So you know there's that. Okay, so basically we're just gonna keep heading forward. There we go. We're just gonna keep on shocking them. Cassandra can actually take care of uh, the shades, you're gonna want to take care of the wraith. There we go. 
Now against demons, certain elemental damage is... Uh, there is certain elemental elements. There is elemental stuff. Uh, does different things. And also there's the prospect of runes. But I'll explain all of that as we go along. It's important to loot your enemies because you will get loot and you get various uh, monster uh, monster stuff which will basically just uh, allow you to deal more damage to them as you level up. Yep. Okay, and there's the rift. This also introduces another core mechanic within the game itself. So let's actually just go ahead and shock them. Give our allies some breathing room. You'll see one familiar face from Dragon Age 2. At least for the time being. There he is. Varric. And uh, of course we have Solas as well. What did you do? Eee, I made an ugly looking uh, character. Okay, and basically don't forget to loot. There we go, that's a fire staff, which should prove useful. And it deals one more damage than my other thing. A mercenary coat. 39, okay, Templar scribe cowl, let's get that. Okay, perfect. Uh, space to jump, of course. Let's actually head down. Am I recording? I am good. Hopefully my recording won't get messed up in the process. Okay, now we're just going to drop down here. Go ahead and loot it. There we go. And here we go, more iron. Excellent, that should be enough. Yeah, that's a lot of demons right there. Uh, basically, yeah, that's a greater shade. We're just gonna focus on that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't need a tactical camera. Never use that once. You rarely need the tactical camera. That is, you n basically never need the tactical camera. In all honesty. There we go, take care of the raids. The raids actually deal decent damage. There we go, let's fireball. Perfect. Go ahead and loot. Those uh, shadowy essences are gonna prove useful, as well as the self root. Okay. Could head to the left, there is also some loot there, but ultimately it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's head on up here. Are you innocent? I don't remember what happened. That'll get you every time. Should have spun a story. That's what yeah. yeah, that's true. There we go. Yeah, that rate is basically done for. Perfect. The Greater Shade does pose a greater problem. And uh, currently my party is, isn't balanced. And what I mean by that is... I have three ranged uh, units. And only one melee. There should always be two melee units and two ranged units. Varric is a rogue. Uh, Cassandra is a warrior. Me and Solas are uh, mages, basically. We must seal it. There we go. Okay. Now, basically, sealing rifts is more or less a simple task. You can disrupt rifts to stun the demons, but that just basically is some of your time gone for nothing. And when the rift opens up, you can close it if the thingamajig actually appears. There we go, and that's actually a level up. Yeah, I don't need the tactical camera. Okay, now leveling up, you basically don't have any attributes. 
to put in that is all modified by everything this will actually allow you to go into this now basically what do I want to pursue now lightning is generally the safest bet and I actually uh, I actually want this one why that one because that's basically a train range attack and more dialogue okay now basically you're gonna want to choose the mountain path why the mountain path because the direct assault will get you there a little bit sooner but you'll have a shit ton of demons to fight that's reason number one uh, reason number two is you get to save the squadron that's here because if you go for the frontal assault uh, you won't save the squad that's up here and that's that's uh, no bueno. Missing soldiers are in there somewhere, along with whatever is detained them. Yes, that is right. Okay, so we're just going to use the ladders as I've used them, and we'll be entering through the mines here. There we go. Whatever your weapon main thing is. This will actually follow it, although a mind blast would have been preferred in all honesty. Now that I think about it, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay. Perfect. Okay, make sure you loot whatever is left. There we go, dreamer rags. Those rags will come in handy really need to bump up the brightness setting but that's neither here nor there okay for now let us just stick to the tunnels here it gets brighter as you go along basically by pressing V anything that's lootable will be highlighted to you that's why you're just gonna go around running oh royal elf fruit that's a rare plant Go ahead and loot this. Okay, perfect. That's 59 gold right there. Okay, let's actually head on up here. There we go. Yeah, that's a greater shade. Perfect. Uh, I'm gonna have to invest in some AoEs as well, but that can wait a little bit long as I have the shot and by using tab you actually go to the next target which is also quite a useful information right there we have a sack here that we can loot played with that's actually some cloth you will need that and basically you won't even need to get uh, weapons yeah that's not all of them Mm-hmm. No yes, I agree. Yeah, there's one of them. Perfect. Okay, nice. Come on, baby. Go ahead. You can actually attack these. Ooh, these are horrors or nightmares I forgot they're bad news anyways go ahead and close the rift That's the way to the temple. okay we still need to make a way to the temple and let us do so yeah I don't think I'll be able to seal the entire thing I think only a portion of it will be sealed now and that'll be the end of the level. Basically, just go ahead and climb down. You'll actually get another ladder right here. And you gotta angle it just right, unfortunately. Now, let us head on down. And uh, no, they shouldn't. Uh, yes, in all honesty, there. We will consider how this 
happen once the immediate danger is past. I mean, just in general, explosions happen. Temple of sacred ashes. What's left of it? That is where you walked out of the faith, and our soldiers found you. They say a woman okay, nice. No one knows who she was. She was unjust for all propaganda purposes. Okay, and this is where we'll actually have our first boss fight. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's move on. What are we hearing? At a guess. Uh huh. The person who created the breach. This is all red lyrium. Red lyrium seeker. I see it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Justinia. Okay, here we go. Now, basically, your first order of business is to disrupt the rift. There we go. Now hit it with everything you got. While the rift is disrupted. And basically you're going to rinse and repeat that until the pride demon is dead. Okay, disrupt the rift again. There we go, hit it again. God damn it. We'll have plenty of these shades. And you might as well wait for him to actually put up the armor before you disrupt the rift. Go ahead, disrupt it. Okay, the rift wasn't disrupted. You gotta disrupt the rift and keep him occupied. There we go. Now that he's been occupied... Go ahead and just hit him with everything you got. Fire seems to work best, in all honesty. Well, he's immune to most uh, forms of damages, unfortunately. Okay, he'll actually be putting up his armor soon. There we go. Now, basically, what you're gonna want to do is go ahead and disrupt the raid, but you can't because these fuckers here are going to assault you, and you're gonna have to kill them. Go ahead and disrupt the rift. There we go, just a little bit longer. Perfect. Now hit him with everything you got. Okay, excellent. One more time for the disrupting of the rift and that'll be it, I believe. You could also dodge those attacks if you want. Excellent. There we go. Go ahead, close the rift. Okay, and that basically concludes the quest as we wake up here. Don't forget to loot this. To Elfruit, and you have some special shipments here which you can access. They'll give you basically a bunch of armor. And a bunch of schematics.